All right, let's keep it flavorful. Let's keep the food going. There's still time to prepare the perfect Labor Day spread to end the summer on a high note. Here to help us is Chef Rebecca with Conagra Brands. Hey, Chef. Uh, what Hi. are some of the seasonal ingredients that home chefs can use for their Labor Day weekend recipes? Sure, so I like to use a lot of really fresh stuff, a lot of fresh vegetables. Um, I like to utilize my grill a lot. I'm really trying to hang on to summer. I'm in Chicago. It's very cold. I want it to last as long as possible. Um, so I have a couple of fun recipes here today that do involve using your grill. And so if you want to have, you know, that end of summer, Labor Day, barbecue outside, which we shall be spending a lot of time outside right now anyways, right? Um, so this first one here is I've just taken a bunch of vegetables, some summer squash and some bell peppers, and I've cut them and thrown them on the grill and tossed them with some vegetable pasta. And then I use this. Um, these are some new dressings that are at Healthy Choice Makes These. They're called power dressings. It's all vegetables. So it's just a bunch of vegetables that have been pureed together. Um, super flavorful, super light and healthy. And so I've used this here. There's also a few other flavors that you can play around with. And then I added also some goat cheese to kind of add that extra layer of flavor. What about uh, meatless options? Oh. Uh, meatless options? Yeah. Sure. So we're all grilling, having our burgers out there. I want to challenge everyone out there to maybe give everybody who's been seeing these like, meat replacement burgers. I want to challenge everyone to give them a try. Um, I like the Garden Ultimate Plant Based Burger. It comes frozen. You can throw it on the grill frozen. It's super flavorful. Um, super meaty. When you throw it on the grill, it gives it a nice char. And then I also like to kind of go over the top and put a ton of stuff on my burgers. So for this one here, I'm going to do like a Southwest burger. So I've got some guacamole here, and I'm just going to put a nice, healthy chunk of guacamole. And then I've got some pico de gallo that I'm going to throw on there. Oh, wow. It's like a, it's like a salsa burger. This is a... A, a nice twist on a, a regular yeah. recipe. And then some pickled jalapenos. I love pickled anything. That's another thing at the end of the summer, all the fresh vegetables, I like to pickle them so that I have them throughout the fall. And then also when you pile all this stuff on top, I bet you, you can give one of these to one of your carnivore friends and they would love it and maybe not even know that it's not meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely you can change it up. Now when we talk about Labor Day weekend, a lot of people want to barbecue. What other recipe ideas do you have? So another one that I have on the grill is um, a kind of fun, like, sweet twist. Um, I did a grilled pizza, and then I topped it with some, um, like, a sweet and cream cheese and some strawberries and fresh basil and some honey. And then for the pizza dough, you can actually throw this directly on your grill. So as long as you give it a good spray with ham or whatever um, before you light the grill, let it heat up, you can actually throw the dough right on the grill, close it, um, give it, like, five minutes. And then flip it over until it's just cooked on either side. And then I've um, just taken that dough and piled some fun stuff on it. Well, I would have never thought to put the uh, pizza dough on the grill and cook it that way. So this pizza, is it is it the main course or is it a dessert? I like to have this as a dessert. So if I'm doing pizza for a bunch of guests, I will have pizza be the main meal. And then I will have this as a dessert. Or you can even have it as an appetizer. It's not super sweet. So if you're having people over and you want to have something for them to snack on in the beginning. This is great because it doesn't have to be, you know, you can, it doesn't have to be cold or hot. You can get room temperature. So it's a great fun. Yeah, and that's a creative take, you know, and spin something new. What other tips can you offer for the perfect barbecue spread so that we can celebrate Labor Day? Yeah, so this last fun thing I'll show you is um, I love to have these for the kids, um, a Labor Day weekend celebrating America. So I have oh these my fun goodness, I love it. Cake. Yeah, they're super cute. So to make these, I've just taken some white chocolate that I've melted in the microwave with some heavy cream to make like a ganache, and I've colored it with some red food coloring. You can also use a Ziploc bag, but you can find these squeeze bottles um, at most stores, like, you know, most grocery stores or whatever will have these squeeze bottles that make it really easy. Right. Um, and then I'm just going to go about two-thirds of the way up the glass and do a nice blob, and then let it sink to the bottom. And then you just go to kind of go all the way around. And then I like to put them in the freezer while I'm making the milkshake. So then for the milkshake oh, okay. part, you're just going to make your standard vanilla, vanilla milkshake and then um, fill it up to the top of the bread and then blend the rest of the milkshake with some blue food coloring. And then for the, to top it all off, 
Yes. How do we top that off? I'm sure those are a hit with the kids. The red, white, and blue, and it looks so cute. Yes, I love them. They're super for adult, A hit with the adults as well. Oh, yeah. I love milkshake. It might be my favorite dessert. So I top it off some ready with, and then the really fun part is um, I have the popping candies. I've got some blue and red oh, uh -huh. popping candies to put on top of the, of the whipped cream, kind of for that fun surprise when they take a big mouthful of whipped cream and their mouth starts firecrackering. I love it. Just that, about that. that is great. I think we're all set for the perfect little spread on Labor Day. Chef Rebecca, thank you so much for bringing those to us. If any or all of these recipes seem like they'd be a delicious option for your Labor Day festivities, you can head to readysetEat.com.